She is both, simultaneously, unknowingly. Like a fish in the sea, unaware of the water surrounding him, she swims on into the darkness. A darkness that envelops and smothers, like the humid heat on a hot July evening. A heat that is inevitable and unexplainable, weighing down on her. Lover of the brittle leaves of winter, admirer of the warm rays of summer, zealous advocate of nature who dreams of the city, sleep-deprived student who is full of energy, dedicated drinker of coffee, but exuberant fan of chamomile teas, passionate and driven, lazy and distant. She is both a sunrise and a sunset, darkness that gives way to color and color that drains the darkness, black and white picture, yet technicolor vision, grease yet roam, dreamer yet realist, planner yet performer, and yet she is blind to the thin fissure that separates two distinct opposites, both which are and are not her. Stitching two walls of a canyon separated by thousands of miles, looking for a compromise between two bitter rivals, and suddenly she's peering in the mirror at the strange shadowy shape staring back at her. And she is unaware, unaware of the stares and the glares and the looks of confusion and judgment, half yelling, find yourself, and half yelling, stop being yourself. But still, she is unaware. She is herself and nothing more, and that is enough.